Hi ladies, welcome to my blue water marble video tutorial. These are the polishes I'm using, which are the light blue is Ollie Snow Cone, the dark blue is Ollie La Playa, the third one, the turquoise one, is Calypso Breeze, and the fourth one, the mid blue, is Bailamos. And I'm using all Oli because they are kind of consistent and they spread well. That's a Dixie waxed cup with room temperature water that was previously boiled and left to cool. You can use filtered water or bottled water. I believe some people can actually use tap water and have success. But I like to use boiled water and cooled water and as you can see when they don't spread quickly enough I tap my cup and that helps I'm taking a chance because the third well the second polish from the left is a shimmer polish and I often don't have success with those. But that, that, that only one I've used it before and I know it works. So dip your finger in, in a space where you like the pattern. And then take your toothpick and blow on the surface of the water to dry the rest of the polish and remove it with the toothpick because if that ends up draping down your nail you're going to ruin your beautiful water marble I'm going to ruin my beautiful water marble anyway because it's a base I'm using it as a base to do a pond manicure of stamping and glitter on top I just had an urge to do blue. And don't forget to wipe your toothpick regularly because it ends up with a blob of polish on the end and you don't get clean lines through the polish. I like to put my nail like flat on top of the water so that the polish won't stretch if you hold the polish too high above the water it will drop to the bottom and sink You can no longer see the beautiful water marble on my nails. I have covered it up with all kinds of stuff. They still look nice. But I just don't seem to know when to stop, it seems. And be careful when you're dipping your finger in that you don't dip another one in accidentally. I've done that before several times. I really like using Ollie because it takes longer to dry than the usual polishes. The new polishes usually have a better rate of success than an older polish which has gone thick although you can rescue them by adding some thinner into them. 
then they will spread better. Brand new often works the best. Some of those Ollies are quite old. See, I'm having a disaster with that right there. The outer ring has dried faster than the others and I think it's because I'm breathing over the top of it and I've dried the shimmer polish faster than the rest. So I'm just scrapping that because the pattern was not good. I remember when I, I first did my first few water marbles, I was so excited to be like trying to water marble that I would be practically snorting on top of the water and it just didn't work. The polish was dry. <laughs> it was funny. <sighs> and then we've gotten good at not doing that. People don't even think about that, that they are like breathing over the top of the water and making it dry faster. I think you could make a really pretty window sticker cling thing if you just like did some of these and let them dry on the water because if you just leave them and let them dry, they dry in the pattern and then you can pick them out, stick them on the window. That would be fun, wouldn't it? Make sure to get all of those last dregs of polish out because they can end up hanging down and sticking on to your beautiful water marble design and completely ruining it. These are all mistakes that I've learned from. It's best to work quite fast, but you know, I'm not really working that fast. This video is speeded up twice as much. I did do a video of what I did on top of the water marble but unfortunately the camera switched off halfway through so unfortunately you don't get to see that. You'll notice that I haven't taped my fingers up. I'm just too lazy to cut out 10 pieces of tape for that hand. I'd rather spend more time taking it off with acetone. Doesn't make sense, does it? I never said I was normal. I'm a nail addict. What can I say? If I was normal, I'd just go to a salon and let them do it. But there is no way I am letting some little Korean chick loose on my nails ever again. I had acrylics once. I had them off within the week. And it took a full year for them to recover because her with her little carbay tungsten drill or whatever the hell it is, she failed so much off the surface of my nail that they were so thin. And every time they started to grow, they just broke because they were so thin. So I persevered with my OPI Nail Envy. And I still wear Nail Envy. It's my must-have go-to desert island product that gives me nails like that. And I wear it underneath every nail art and underneath the tips. I also leave on any polish that goes on underneath the tips because it all creates a protective barrier against wear and tear and doing the dishes and 
It obviously works because I don't get too many breaks. See, I could prevent all of that if I could just be bothered with the tape. But oh no, not me. I've got to be different. I've got to be awkward. I recommend that you do tape your fingers because it's quite easy to slip with that Q-tip and um, wipe off half your water marble. I've done that before. But you know, I don't like to learn from my mistakes. I like to keep repeating them over and over again. Most people would be just happy with the water marble as it is on their nails and be thrilled that it came out so nicely. But I'm like, right, I'm going to stamp this for me first layer. Then I'm going to stamp that for the second layer and then I'm going to have some glitter. I'm touching up a bare part where you can see the white underneath. Now I'm doing the clean up around the cuticles, which is kind of important. It never used to be that important to me, but I don't know, it just looks more professional. And there's a certain satisfaction in creating that clean, crisp line. My cuticles are really dry. And when they are dry, they seem to absorb the polish. And they get cracks and things in them. That's from fishing at the weekend, because you wash your hands a lot. Because you don't want to stink of flake fish guts and blood. So you wash your hands a lot, your cuticles suffer. I'm just glad a nail didn't break because I was clambering around rocks and there were a few hair raising moments. Get out the ubiquitous sesh feet. I need a gallon sized bottle of this stuff. Wrap the tips. Helps with the shrinkage and the wear and tear. I love the blues, they are really pretty. I should have maybe left it for a day by, by itself without doing anything on top, but I did get a photograph and I did do a video. 